The Miami Heat shocked everyone last year, making a deep playoff run and reaching the NBA Finals for the second time in the last five seasons. Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and company drove through the Eastern Conference, eventually facing Endeavor Nuggets where they met their match, losing in five games. It was a tough loss, but a lot of people saw the potential of this Miami Heat team. Everyone expected this team to be aggressive, looking to add talent in hopes of capturing their first NBA championship since 2013. First came Bradley Beal. The Phoenix Suns swooped in at the last minute and made a blockbuster deal to add Bradley Beal to a core of Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. But it was okay because there was another star guard that was available for trade. Damian Lillard made a huge announcement requesting a trade with his only preferred destination being the Miami Heat. The Heat had it, their chance at adding a superstar player. All they needed to do was make a trade happen, except for the fact that they didn't. Once again, the Miami Heat sat on their hands and left out of there with nothing. They weren't aggressive in free agency, they didn't make any trades, and they lost two key players to their playoff run last year. And now, everyone is questioning the Miami Heat going into this season. And considering the trades that were made around the NBA, their time might have just ran out. Or has it? There are a couple of intriguing young players on this team, hoping that these players can make leaps in their games so that the Miami Heat can remain competitive. And there's one particular young player that has been going crazy during this preseason. Looks like Tali Hero isn't right back this year. After a tantalizing start to his NBA career, Hero has been in the middle of a multitude of NBA trade packages, having uncertainty around his future over the last three seasons. Despite being a consistent 20 point per game scorer, Tali has seemed to leave fans with more to be desired. Efficiency wise, he could be better. He needs to have more success as a lead ball handler, and the defense has some major flaws. There are some consistency issues, and since the bubble, he has been quite underwhelming in the playoffs. It isn't yet solidified if he projects better as a starter or a six man, but he's paid like one of the best players in the NBA. These are all things that have crowded the noise surrounding Hero's name, but he's bypassed all of it. Despite the rumors, despite the negativity, and despite all the ups and downs, Hero remains a professional. No matter what you might think of him, it's clear that the Heat are at least better offensively with him than without. And in the Heat's last preseason game, Tyler Hero showed just how good he can be and what we could expect from him this season. 30 points, 6 assists, shooting 58% from the field and making 4 threes. And what's most important is that he showcased major improvement in his game. One of the biggest knacks on Tyler Hero's game is how he operates in isolation situations. Which, to say it nicely, it's not a strong suit of his. This play right here has a lot of promise for people looking for him to improve in that area. Getting to a comfortable spot on the court, he uses a little shimmy and hesitation to keep Zaire Williams honest on defense. He then is able to use his speed to get around Zaire, bursting to the rim and finishing a nice layup. Playing off ball is still his strongest ability, as we saw in this play. Getting out into transition for easy pull up threes is his bread and butter, capitalizing off the playmaking ability from guys like Kyle Lowry and Kevin Love. Right here, he fights through contact off ball, not letting the defender throw him off his path, cuts back door and gets a nice layup to go over the reigning defensive player of the year. He also has some very nice moments in the pick and roll, both as a scorer and a facilitator, using his vision to find open teammates and scoring in a multitude of ways out of the pick and roll. Overall, a very clean game from Hero to showcase the improvements that he's made. This has to be the year that Hero really makes that jump in his game leaving all the outside noise in the past. Gabe Vincent and Max Schuess are gone. Kyle Lowry at this stage in his career is just a shell of his former self, and Jimmy Butler is aging. For this team to repeat the success that they had last year, they are going to have to rely on Hero a lot and need him to be the team's best scorer and playmaker. It's a lot, but early indications show that Hero may be up for the task. A 23-point, five-assist season is what I project for Hero, improving his efficiency playmaking, and providing more effort on defense. A near all-star season is what I want to see from Hero, and that's something that will show the Heat that it was well worth it to hang on to him. Hero doesn't seem phased by any of this, and this may be the year that we finally see the Tyler Hero breakout.